Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you are a defensive-minded guy, you are going to love this one. Linebackers and safeties who want to come downhill and stick their faces in the fan. Fortunately, I'm safe behind the desk here in the studio. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Georgia Tech has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Taylor fields it at the 11. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets out to around the 45. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Brooks was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's under some heat. Quick throw out to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. He gets rid of this one. the 16 yard line well they get all those yards but come up just shy of the first good play call almost perfect execution except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down so it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field big play and it's first and goal what an unbelievable fourth down conversion that was a big time play have a job there to keep this drive going Dips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at this clash between two traditional powers in the map. Rivalry is the essence of the sport. 
and cutting the other guy's guts out, figuratively, of course, makes it all the more pleasurable. The Huskies win it 27-24. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Coleman gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Yellow Jackets and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle around the 40-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. 12 to fight. Stay in, seven. Check. He makes his way out to about the 35. First and ten. From the 35 yard line. First down. They'll drop him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 22-yard line, first down. He guns it. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Here he goes. That was a dangerous pass. Well, he should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. Hopefully he's going to be okay. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Clemson up seven points. He's on the run, and they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away.
from the 43 yard line. Second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. He just got drilled. Clemson's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. Rucker comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 28. The Yellow Jackets quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room, and the word we're getting, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to play anymore today. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Pitches back. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Fires to his fullback, no good. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Smith is the punter. Brought down at the 38. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Clemson is up seven. He wants it all going long. Missed him. The quarterback didn't get enough on the long ball. Now the quarterback can't worry about getting hit back there. He's got to step up and make the throw downfield to the receiver. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. That brings us third and ten. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That makes it fourth and eight. Jackson is back to receive. He's taken down at the 26. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Get 
gets out to around the 48. That's a good That'll make it second in inches. Here we go. Mike 12. Mike 12. One more. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he will score. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now, this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. We're even at seven in this one. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled after positive yardage. the stop at about the 23 yard line that makes it third and three It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had it. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. And last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. To get the football back, let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Slings it. Brought down at the 16. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Swings it out there incomplete. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. And he 
tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 24-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 14-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Georgia Tech's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense, and then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. That's good for gaining 14 yards. First down. Watch the slant, watch the slant, watch the slant. Mike 12, Mike 12. He's scrambling. Big opening. He decides to run with it, and he's tackled around the 30-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Georgia Tech will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. First down. Throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Gets out to around the six. Gain of eight yards. tries to buy some time and he's going to be sacked for a loss Georgia Tech's out of timeout the field goal units out on the field and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime Kicks away, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. Taylor fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. The Tigers lead it by four. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
it's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Gathered in at the six. And he just got stood up right there. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 23. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 41. Teams come trotting back out onto the field. Clemson holds a four-point lead. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Connect. 
Bird was the intended target on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. Really questionable decision to field the ball there. Tough to get traction or even maintain your grip on the ball. That could have turned out even worse than it did. Tackle at the 39. First down. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 19-yard line. First down. From the 19-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they'll get him in the backfield. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. yard line. It's second down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 14-10, Clemson. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. They're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Clemson's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. That's a game four. That brings him second and five. And 
they get him in the backfield for a loss. That makes it third and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Is out to the tailback on the screen. Out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Fourth down. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's taken down at the 41. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Gets it out quickly. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Is it can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. That makes it fourth and twelve. Smith to punt. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made at about the 49. Just over two minutes in the game. Push him out at about the 39-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line.
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delayed game, Delayed game. Offense. offense. It'll be third down again after Still that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. hit and taken down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this is the eighth play of the drive. We have less than a minute to go. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter to gain this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. And he is drilled at the 17. Gain of a yard by the fullback. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. From their own 17-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. It's final, a close one to the very end. 17-14, Yellow Jackets. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? You wouldn't figure either team would pull away and it'd go right down to the very end. This was a really exciting matchup. Georgia Tech was not gonna win this game easily and they knew that. They had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top. Both teams should be proud of their effort. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.